Hello everyone, GW fan the Soccer Brony here, bringing you another update. Uh, now that the ever busy December and uh, wedding that I was at yesterday are over, uh, hopefully I'll be able to get back to a more normal recording schedule than I've had the last few videos. Uh, 999 has taken me a bit longer to get through than I was originally intending, so I won't get to the next LP as soon as I uh, originally wanted, but no problem. Uh, Pokemon Soul Silver is still going to happen uh, probably in late January, early February, somewhere in there. At least I think it should. Uh, anyway, the real reason for this update is to reveal another LP I've been planning on. Uh, some of you might remember in my last update when I said there was another Pony RPG that I was keeping an eye on and that the beta might be released as early as December. Well, the uh, beta was played by some predetermined testers, and then a few days later, on Christmas Day, the official game was released. Of course, you know that means I'm talking about... Super Lesbian Horse RPG. Stop! Whatever half of you are thinking right now, just stop. Just because it has the word lesbian in the title does not mean that it is a mature rated game. I played through it three times already, and I can assure you that it is in fact PG rated. Uh, that aside, there is still the obvious implication present, though despite being in the title, it is not an overbearing factor, nor do I personally think it is used in bad taste. Uh, yes, the main six are uh, considered lesbians, and thus that means shipping occurs, or rather, shipping has already occurred before the big game begins. Uh, now, I know that might not be everyone's cup of tea, but you know what? I don't like shipping in any fandom, not just My Little Pony, uh, at, at all. It just, it always just, I don't know, it always just seems so out of place and maybe even just forced. But despite that, I enjoyed the game because, you know, as I said, the shipping is not overbearing and the rest of the story is fun and interesting. And in part, you know, because the game is inspired uh, by Earthbound, you'll see uh, Earthbound-esque elements uh, in it as well, so... Uh, anyway, so for those of you who, you know, looked at the title and groaned on the inside, I say, give it a chance first. It might surprise you. Uh, with that all said, I'm gonna do something a little different with this one than I have in the past. Uh, I don't plan on waiting until Pokemon is over, nor do I plan on interjecting it in between 999 and Pokemon. Uh, instead, this time, I'm going to play it simultaneously as 999, sort of as a side LP, if you will. Uh, if my schedule allows, I'll do 999 one day, and then Super Lesbian Horse the uh, following day, and so on and so forth like that. Uh, the reason I'm, well, because, you know, I can probably record both in one day, it wouldn't be that terribly difficult. But the, uh, the reason I'm choosing to do this is because the game is really short. Really, really short. Uh, I'm take e even taking, uh, side quests into account. If you speed through all the dialogue of the game and skip the NPCs, then you can beat it in just over three hours. Uh, I know because I've done that. So, uh, this will be starting well, as early as tomorrow, if I can. Uh, anyway, other than that, I don't necessarily have a guaranteed LP set up to follow Pokemon Soul Silver, though at the moment it looks like it will probably be Mother 3. Uh, I kind of would like to do Breath of Fire 3, but as it stands, I currently don't have a way of recording off my PlayStation 2, and getting the PlayStation emulator to work properly and efficiently is proving to be a lot more difficult than getting a Nintendo Anything emulator to work. And this is coming from someone who managed to get Soul Silver to work on an emulator without freezing or giving a blank screen of death, those of you who've also tried to know what that's about. Uh, I suppose I should also note that I have at least take a Mega Pony into consideration. Uh, again, no guarantees, partly because the game is kind of difficult, even by normal Mega Man standards. Uh, but then, I've only ever tried to play it with a keyboard, and trying to play any action game with a keyboard makes it really difficult. I mean, I've tried playing the original Mario Brothers with a keyboard, and I can't do even half as well as I normally can, <laughs> so... And I can breeze through that game at this and at this point in my life. Uh, so, I'm gonna have to pull out my USB Super Nintendo controller before I give a yay or nay on uh, old Megapony here. 
Uh, anyway, those are my current plans for the future. So, thanks for watching and commenting, everyone. I always appreciate it. Arrivederci.